This dude, Mike Wilson, is mad angry. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, we got Debo. Ice Cube paying his respects. Shaquille O'Neal shooting his shot. Fabulous on the most dangerous job. Boosie on Cosby and details on Mo 3's killer. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, yo, man, welcome aboard. We appreciate you coming through. Be sure to hit that sub button because we pretty much keep it consistent. And if you like this, you're going to like everything else. Hit the thumbs up button if you crack a smile at any point in the video. And we're going to get right to it now. We setting this one off with some absolutely heartbreaking news, man. Celebrity Tommy Tiny Lister, eternally known as Debo in my book, has passed away yesterday. He died at the age of 62 and he was found unconscious on Thursday in his Los Angeles area apartment. He was declared dead at the scene and officials have yet to determine a cause of death. Now, social media is absolutely devastated at the loss with posts from people like Nuff at Nuff NYC posting clips of some of Tiny's best roles in what I would term cinema history. <laughs> I, mean, I don't care what you say, man. Friday is ab absolutely, definitely in the top 10 movies of all time. What movie could take place on a damn porch and be cinematic history and one of the funniest films created and hey, yo take a quick look at what nuff posted which is considered to be one of the best scenes in cinema history yo take a look i'm debo who debo you just took my idea what's up y'all what's up red thanks for the bite but you got my 40, homie. I thought you had $200. I do. But I want to spend Red's money. Yeah, you got some. Why you tripping, Debo? Shut up, Parker. I'll knock your ass out. Oh, man, that's messed up. Why don't you give him back his chain? What chain? Yeah, what chain? Hey, man, why y'all didn't help me? And I'm high. Man, that's fucked up, man. If it was y'all, I would have helped y'all. What about the time he tried to choke me in smoke backyard? Yeah. Oh, that was different. Fuck up. Man, that's junk. I be quiet. But when he leave, I be talking again. Man, my grandmama gave me that chain. He tripping hard. Only on people he know. Fuck oh. gonna cry in the car you see that man yo we gonna definitely miss Debo man I mean that's that that's a hard hit now the cause of death has not been made official yet right autopsy has not you know come out but days before his death some reports have stated that he was displaying covid related symptoms now we're not saying that that's official right and as info comes in we're gonna let you know more details about that but we definitely hope it's not the covid so some other sources are saying it was natural causes um he was 62 to some people that's still considered relatively young now ice cube came through expressing his condolences from the culture's favorite bully when he said quote rest in peace tiny debo lister uh, America's favorite bully was a born entertainer who would pop in the character at the drop of a hat, terrifying people on and off camera, followed by a big smile and laugh. Thank you for being a good dude at heart. I miss you already. Close quote. Yo, now believe it or not, right? Debo had faith in Christ. So looks like those of us that have that same faith will be bumping into both him and Chadwick in the kingdom. With Debo telling you to take your chain off in the kingdom, so he could bring it as an offering to God, which you won't have a problem doing because you'll be happy to give. Yo, much love to Debo, man. Condolences to the family. Standing salute to Debo. Be sure to take to put a chain on someone's neck, then snatch it off in honor of Tommy Debo Lister. Tiny Debo Lister. Shaquille O'Neal got a glimpse of Megan twerking and quickly jumped in her live and took a shot when he said, quote, watching that booty, close quote. 
incredible, right? Bruh, the, the ball is still in the air and we're waiting to see if he makes the shot. Some would believe, right, that he's a bit too far, like half court far, for the shot to actually go in. I mean, it's, it's damn near half court, man. She 25, he's 48, okay? But here's the thing. It appears, and I wasn't in a room, that you could be five foot three and make that shot. It, look, it, is it a break? Is it an air ball? I guess we just have to wait and see how that whole thing plays out. It's not the first celebrity to try to holler at Megan. You know what I'm saying? You might have seen it before, right? But Boosie is not a big fan of Bill Cosby being incarcerated. In fact, Boosie was tight over the fact that Bill Cosby was incarcerated all the way uh, in, in September 2018 while Harvey Weinstein ran around and continued to rape folks to the last minute right before he was incarcerated in February of this year. And I could have sworn the, the whole Me Too movement, didn't it start with Weinstein? I, I mean, I don't know. Check this out, right? Boosie said, quote, y'all better wake up. This racist behind mother effing world. This armadillo looking B, Harvey Weinstein, been effing people a hundred days ago and he could pay for all the ish he did. All the effing rapes he done did, but Bill Cosby couldn't pay for his ish. The Jello man had money. That show you it's a racist mother effing world. Bill Cosby did that ish when he was 39. Uh, Boosie, <laughs> let me stop you right here, big bro. Let me stop you right here. Time does not exonerate crime. You follow what I'm saying? Like, it don't, just because crime happened a long time ago don't mean like, oh, you should be off the, oh, that murder happened 50 years ago. Ain't no thing. Nah, bro. It still matters, okay? Uh, rape still matters if it's a long time ago, partner, okay? But whatever. He continued on to say, he did that ish when he was 39. This man Weinstein did this ish a couple of days ago, and he gets to pay his off you know why because he a white man close quote yo here's my thing on that real quick right and i i, I ain't gonna try to belabor this you know situation uh cosby the, the lady that the, what what i understand cosby to have gotten convicted of was a woman that said that you know he did what he did to her but then the next she said it happened one week and then the next week she took her parents and brought her parents to Bill Cosby's comedy show. If you're going to get Cosby on something, get him on, get him from someone that didn't have that kind of situation. Because that makes me feel like the lady that he went down for, I mean, I mean, that was fraudulent, bro. I mean, somebody, somebody did that to you and then you brought your parents to his comedy show the next week. And we supposed to believe you somehow he, he got, he got roped up for that. Anyway, Cosby did get the heads up, right? That Boosie showed him some love. So Cosby hit him back and said, on this 10th day of December, 2020, I will pay homage to those who have supported me and my family simply by saying, thank you. The first person to be recognized on Thank You Thursday is Boosie Official, right? At, at Boosie Official, rapper Boosie. That's what Bill Cosby from the Cosby Show said. I mean, that's a big deal, right? He continued on and said, yo, thank you for your support and I'm praying for you to have a speedy recovery and for your mobility to be restored. Again, thank you very much. Yo, how much you wanna bet that that made Boosie's day? You know what really make Boosie's day? If you hook, if, if you hook your boy Boosie up, with the one and only Martin Lawrence. That's right, your boy was a bit blazed and found himself watching all episodes of Martin. And can you imagine how funny that is if you blazed watching that joint? I mean, I ain't got blazed and watched it, but I can only imagine how funny it would be. You see what I'm saying? And look, Boosie said on social media when he was watching Martin, he said, I could watch this ninja all day. I gotta meet Martin Lawrence. Somebody set the meeting up. I need my jacket, shirt, and DVD sign. I'm high as F this morning in the morning this ninja got me in tears and my eyes he on pam's behind the lma triple o close quote yo those were the good old days man but i mean you know old episodes of martin before things went left you see what i'm saying and finally we reported to you yesterday that dallas artist mo 3 killer was apprehended now more details have emerged letting us know that the shooter kiwan white i said kevin yesterday you know i can't read his name is kiwan white was out on bail after being arrested for get this shooting but not killing his transgendered girlfriend so this ain't his first time at 
the rodeo. Now, word on the street is he tried to kill his ex-transgender lover after finding out that the woman was really a man. He got bonded out for that and got out only to kill Dallas Artist Mode 3. Look, you want to pull a transgender jump off? Be, be open from the jump. Well, that's a bad way to put it. Be honest from the get-go. Don't be trying to pull people into loving you only to pull out a jammy on a ninja. Then be shocked when bullets are whizzing past your ear, man. Lots of dudes do not take kindly to doing all that passionate kissing and rubbing only to, for you to pull out your woo-ha last minute. You see what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, almost, like that's how cats be getting, you know what I'm saying? Yo, let us know what you think. Y you... <laughs> You you in a deep relationship with a lovely lady that you just met, right? Maybe you, you know her for about three months. Y'all had a good phone conversation the whole nine, y'all. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. You know where I'm going with this. Uh, what might what what would happen to you know y'all y'all finally getting it in by you know whatever amount of time it is that you finally getting it in with this person? You spent some time on the phone. You really like them, and now y'all y'all in a passionate what you might call it, and you're in the throes of passion and ecstasy, and then they pull out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The broomstick on you. What then? Or like, what you gonna do then? You follow what I'm saying? Um, let us know what you think about that. Uh, definitely, I want you to uh, let me know what you think about Fabulous talking about the most dangerous job in America. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.